before investments one should understand what is bsc what is index bsc bombay stock exchange it is started in the year 1979 it is the backbone of our country's economy without investments country will never never grow there are 4851 companies got listed under bsc daily more than 2500 listed company shares get traded we have 34 years history this slide shows performance of bombay stock exchange for one year growth for three year growth five year growth seven year growth 10 year growth and 15 years growth in the year 1979 sensex was having 100 points with 100 points it has started next year that preceding year in the year 1980 the growth is reached 28.57 percentage next in the year 1981 173 it has achieved 173 points that is 34 percent when compared to the previous year so if it is compared to the previous 1979 it is grown the it has grown to 73 percent but if you take only one year growth that is 34 percent growth in the year 1982 the growth is 25.5 percent compared to the previous year if you take 1983 growth the growth is the growth was minus that is minus 2.85 percent compared to the previous year in the year 1984 15 percent growth is there compared to the previous year 1985 44.24 uh, percent 86 62 percent in the year 1987 the growth was minus that is negative 11.1 percent comparing to the previous year in the year 1988 minus 21.94 percent compared to the previous year in the year 1989 79 percent here in the 88 it was minus 21 percent next 1989 only 79 percent growth rate has achieved only in one year in 1990 the growth is the growth was 9.45 percent 1991 it is 49 percent the highest achieved growth during 1992 was 266 percent over the previous year next preceding 1993 it has collapsed by 46% from the previous year 1994 65% growth has achieved over the previous year 1993 so during 1995 the growth was negative that is minus 13.71% then same way 1995 it was minus 1997 it was minus 1999 minus 3.92 percent. 2001 again it has uh, recorded minus 27.93 percent negative growth. 2002 it was again minus. 2003 again it was minus. Consecutively 2001, 2002, 2003 continuously three years also the market has recorded negative growth. Next in 2004 it has recorded 83. 0.38% growth compared to the earlier year 2005 was 16% 2006 2006 again 73% growth over the previous year 2007 it has grown to 15.89% in 2008 the growth recorded 20% in 2009 the highest fall was 38.16% it was a negative point it was a negative growth over the 2008 growth in 2010 so the market has reached again 80.26% positive growth in 2011 hardly 5.75% 71% in 2012 again minus 6.3% in 2008 13 till 11.87% January the recorded growth is 9.87% compared to the previous 2013 March growth here we have some categories here
this says one year growth this says three years growth this says five year growth this says seven years growth 10 year growth and 15 years growth those are the investors who invest and having horizon of only one year these are the possibilities of growth and negative growths but see annual growth rate if anybody who is having only one year horizon for his investment the chance of losses are 12 out of 34 those who having only one year horizon of investment there are the chances of 12 chances of loss if anybody who wants to invest in the market or in the mutual funds if their horizon is more than five years and above this is five year and above so seven years ten years and fifteen years there is no loss at all no loss no loss no loss what will be the percentage of growth for the investment of investors those are having the horizon of more than seven years he as per the analysis sensex analysis regular investors who gets on an average 20 percent plus yearly growth when they stayed invested for more than seven years